Hi, my name is Andrash Devi, and uh, I live here in Sedona, and I've lived all over the United States and in several other countries, and I love being here in this town. Wonderful. So, yeah. So, what inspired you to come to this, this retreat? This particular retreat is because I've worked with Tom uh, a number of times, and um, I think we're going to, it's time for my book to be born, so I'm here. So you that. have a book that that has been in your consciousness or in your heart for a long time? Or Actually time? not. Actually that's not the case. Really? Uh, I have, um, as I wrote in my bio, uh, I have maybe five, maybe more books in the, literally in the filing cabinets, uh -huh. and that doesn't include photo books, which are an extra several books. But uh, I saw Tom some weeks ago, and uh, he took me through a little process, and what came through was absolutely astonishing. It was not the title or the book that I expected, Wonderful. and it, it's something that's about relationships, and it's something that I certainly need to learn about. So uh, it was a surprise, and it's, it's not one of the ones that are in the filing cabinet. It's totally new. Right. Something special and, and different and exciting, yes. And has, yeah. has his coaching helped you to be writing on that now? Tom is a teacher's teacher. I have, uh, since very early, I would say, junior high school, I've been noticing who's a good teacher and who isn't. And I'm a teacher. I've been teaching various things for 45 years, healing and uh, dowsing and crystals and uh, photography, lots of things I've taught. So I'm always watching who's a good teacher and why they're a good teacher. Tom Bird is one of the best. He's a very, very good teacher. You know why? Because he brings the best out of each person. He has you do your best for yourself, and he brings that out of you. Wonderful. Yeah. Do you have any uh, fears associated with writing? Tons of fears, lots of fears, yeah. What? Mountains of fears. Name two. Uh, I don't know. I can't think of any fears right now. <laughs> 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 but I know they're there. I, I, know, I know they're there. That's great. <laughs> so. Thank you. Thank you very much. Okay, this is Andrash Nevi again. And um, we're at the end of the uh, eight-day retreat. Yes, it's and the last few hours. How are you feeling? I'm feeling good. I'm tired. But that, some of it has nothing to do with the retreat. Some of it does. It's, it's, a, it's hard work. It's hard work. You really have to apply yourself. Everybody here has been applying themselves, so yes. a lot of people are very tired, but it's, it's a good tired. It's like worth, uh, I got something for my tiredness kind of tired. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And additional to tired, what else do you feel? Complete? Well, I, midway? I'm not complete. I'm not complete because I have a lot to do. Uh, writing the book, it, it appears, was just the easy part. Because now comes a revision, rewriting, and so on. Although today, enhancement, enhancement, yeah, uh, yes, as Tom likes to call it, enhancement. So today I uh, got some really good things. I, I did some good writing, and I'm very happy with it. Uh, more from the left brain side, from the left side, but um, still, it's something that needs to be added in. So I'm feeling good about it overall. And uh, the only thing I'm concerned about is keeping up the momentum, keeping up the discipline because there are other things happening exactly. in my life so this is uh, my concern I had a big um, Eureka uh, I think it was a day or two ago which I shared with the group yeah. share it here but I'd like to share it because I think it's very important for this uh, this work and for Tom Bird and this this whole retreat and that is that um, the Eureka I got was that it was uh, one moment I just suddenly got it that this was like the Zen Masters, uh, and, and there were a number of books that came out in the 1960s about uh, these guys that would, you know, they would, they would prepare for years. Zen and the Art of Archery. Yes, Zen and the Art of Archery. They would prepare for years uh, how to hold the arrow, how to put it into the bow, how to hold the bow, how to stand, uh, attitude, a lot of attitude. And they would never, ever let fly. They would, the, the arrow would never leave the bow. It would never be uh, actually shot. So this is very much like that. And then many, many years later, when they actually let go of the bow and actually shot it, it always dead center. It always came inevitably to the dead center. So this is very much like that. I got that this is something that we um, 
uh, learned how to do and are learning and learning and learning about this new muscle, as Tom puts it. And, uh, and then I feel like in the future when I want to hit dead center, I'll be, I'll be able to do that. Or well, maybe we're taking several years and squashing it down into eight days because I think people are letting go of those arrows, man. Well, yes, 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 there's some of that. But it, it doesn't, th th that fact doesn't change my feeling about this eureka, about this, uh, oh, this yeah, realization. It's a great so that's image. What, that's what it was for me. That image is, is what it was for me. Right. And that's what this is about. So I'm, I've enjoyed it. I'm getting a lot out of it. I finally got my book my first book on paper and started a second and actually I, I really did a little cheated and did a little bit of a third actually. <laughs> You're prolific. <laughs> thank okay. you, Andras. Thank you very much. Thank actually, you. it's been God a pleasure. Bless everyone. Thank you. My name is Ron McLean. I've lived in the uh, Sedona area for over 30 years. Well, I've had a book going on inside me, and I've been trying to complete it for the last 10 years. I keep either losing it in my computer or just not getting time. And I've been so extremely busy that I haven't had time to write. And I, I've been seeing Tom's uh, poster in New Frontiers when I have lunch. And finally something said, you need to do this, and you need to do it right now. So I called him, and that's where it took off. I'm, I intend to get this book out. I'm terrified. Are you? Yes. What is, it, what is it that you're terrified about? Success, probably. And so, but I intend to do it anyway. If it wasn't a little scary, it wouldn't be any fun. Do you have any fears about what it is that you feel is going to be said? No. No. It's what I do. I'm a teacher and a, and a shaman. And when I get out of my own way, wonderful things come through. So that's what I intend to do this week is get out of my own way. Hi, this is Ron McLean. Ron, we're at the end of an amazing eight days. How do you feel, and what was your whole experience of this in 30 seconds? I think Tom did an incredible job um, motivating, inspiring all of us, and it pulled us all together in a group like a huge family. I've never been around a group of more um, beautiful people, helping one another every chance they got, sensitive, kind, emotional. And it's opened me up into many other things in my life that uh, I've been kind of stifled with by not writing this book. Mm. And it goes into my music career, it goes into my teaching, it goes into my lectures, into my journeys and tours. It really has opened up my heart. So beautiful. So it's a good thing. Absolutely. <laughs> Thanks so much, Ron. Thank you.